This is a story about Zianti Lodge at Redwood Camp in Mount Hermon, but first a little background. I grew up going to Mount Hermon, uh, and here's a picture of me in 1980 at uh, Redwood Camp. I returned again the next year as a camper for the 12-day camp, and even though in this close-up my eyes are crossed, I was having a blast. It's a great camp. Uh, at the talent show that summer, I got to play my accordion in Zianti Lodge. So in 2011, when uh, I was approached by Mount Hermon to help replace the rotting deck posts at the lodge, I was thrilled. I was excited. I got to work right away and remove the top portion of the rotted posts. Uh, you can see a little of the rot here was left on those old posts. And it was agreed that we would be able to save all the uh, 2x6 horizontal rails. Here's a view of the lodge from across Sianti Creek with the old rails still in place. Sianti Creek is this beautiful little bubbling... It's not a river, but uh, like a like a brook. Uh, across the creek from the lodge, there's a little car bridge, and I've always liked these little posts. Uh, nicely built. Anyway, here's a close-up of some of the lumber in the Mount Hermon wood shop that we purchased to replace the deck posts at Zianti Lodge. And these are the cut and shaped ends to fit the 30-degree angle on the deck. Mount Hermon has a fantastic wood shop. Everything you could possibly need to do a job like this. Okay, here we are in the Mount Hermon wood shop, and I've just finished pre cutting all of the uh, Redwood Camp Zayani Lodge deck material for the uh, posts to rail. And now we're going to prime and pre paint. So after the wood was all cut, we prime painted it and uh, let it dry. Here's the plywood for the caps that we were going to add to these posts. One of the reasons they rotted was that the uh, tops were not covered from water. Uh, it took two days to paint everything, and then work started on uh, the 11th of May. And the first step was to carefully remove all the nails in the posts and take down the, uh, take down the rail. So here's me getting started with uh, taking all the railing off. It's a great work environment before the sun gets up and it's too hot, but uh, I think I lost several <laughs> several pencils over the side of the deck edge while I was working there. Uh, I lost the chuck key to a drill. It went right over the edge into the uh, blackberries down below. Okay, we're going to knock out this rotten post. As I was saying, the uh, chuck key went right over the edge of the rail, and I had to climb down into the blackberries, and I prayed about it. Lord, Jesus, please show me where that chuck key is. I didn't have any way to continue doing all the drilling without that key, and he showed me. I found it. It was uh, miraculous. Here's a scene of me cutting some aluminum flashing to make a cap to cover the rotting uh, beam ends. We uh, uh, wire brushed and scraped the uh, dry wood off and then applied uh, roofing tar over the top before we put the aluminum cap down over the top of the beam. Making a series of new flashings for the uh, beam ends. And I learned a neat trick uh, to use a, uh, like a pizza wheel, but it's not sharp. And you can score your sheet metal and 
and uh, then in between the little slots in the deck you can crease your sheet metal by rolling that pizza wheel back and forth over the metal and then it bends it into a nice tight line. Neat trick. Got to work from below the deck and we had an idea to stiffen the posts by bracing them back against the underside of the deck, but when we had done that, uh, we found it didn't really make the posts any stiffer. It's funny, as I learned to um, make those flashings, I started at one end of the deck and worked to the other, and they got nice and crisp as I went along. Here's me screwing together uh, the three 2x6s that make up one of the posts, and putting a little cap, plywood cap on it that I then would uh, cover it in a sheet metal cover. Here's a picture of the lodge from across the creek again, after the rail had been removed. And uh, after I built the post, I carried it over and set it up right in place, and then used these uh, slick structural lags that just screw right into the beam. Made for really easy installation without a lot of pre-drilling. After the posts were all up, I started putting the uh, salvage rail right back up. Here's me screwing the railing back on. There's always a nice breeze blowing out there on the deck. Here's a picture of a finished, couple finished posts. And the top of a post with the aluminum getting ready to make a sheet metal cap here. So you cut and fit and shape and crease. Fold it up like a little pizza box. Take the uh, O. Henry roofing tar and um, paint it inside. There's a finished cap. And then uh, I show the cap to the top of the post up there, and then I put it up there. Clip it on. There, finished post cap. So the installation took six days. Removal and replacement of the rotted posts and um, cleanup. There's a little paint touch-up left to do. Or a lot of paint touch-up. And here's the um, Zayanti Creek down below. above the deck and the finished post and rail installation Mount Hermon Redwood Camp Scienti Lodge May 2011